Hello guys, it's Briggs Boy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another of my football match day vlogs for you guys to sit back and enjoy. So uh, last game of the season and I can't believe how fast it's gone. Rovers travel to Birmingham today. As we know, Rovers sadly can't get playoffs now. And as for Birmingham, uh, they're safe. They've got survival this season. They're a bottom half team, but they'll be happy with that. And I think today is just about enjoying the whole experience really. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>
Right, so then, guys, that sums up uh, today's last game of the season. Now, to say it was eventful would be a little bit of uh, an understatement. On the way there, we did actually uh, get a flat tyre and broke down. So I missed, well, we we missed, sorry, the entire of the first half and the two Rovers goals, which uh, is a bit of a shame, but we still made the most of it. And we're just going to take a quick look through those two goals, those of you that might not have seen it. So we'll start off with John Buckley's. And wow, all I can say is what a finish. Um, normally, Buckley, when he shoots, either side foots it or it goes straight to the keeper. He is the playmaker. He links the passes and things like that. He's not normally one for scoring goals, but what a finish. Definitely would have got goal of the season, I think, had they done the awards uh, after today's game. But then also we look at Ben Broughton's to go 2-0 up and again, what a finish top corner. As the commentators said, Ronaldo-esque that one. It was a brilliant finish in the top corner. Birmingham obviously did get one back to make it 2-1. The second half was a little bit scrappy really. Rovers had two one-on-one -on -one chances that they did miss. But yeah, good game, another good away day. And that does mark the end of this season. And I can't believe how quick it's gone. Obviously, I've not got to all the games I would have liked to, but next season, believe me, we're going to be back, we're going to be better. There's lots of ideas that I have to improve the vlogs for both home and away. But yeah, before we do end, we're just going to get some final words off Tony Mowbray. You mentioned earlier in the week, Tony, that you'd had a discussion with Steve Waggett about um, your own sort of future at the club and that he'd indicated you'd be having a conversation with, with the owners. Has that taken place and is, does, would that sort of potentially result in you maybe carrying on at, at Blackburn Rovers? You know, I'm, I'm, listen, I had a, an hour in my office with Steve. It was just a, a chat with two guys talking really. We didn't really get into nitty gritty of football or contracts. Nothing is going to change my mind now. We've gone too far down the line. That was my last game today for this football club. and. Um, Listen, if the owners phone, I'll, have, I'll, I'll wish them well and, and thank them for the opportunity they gave me. And um, and that will be that, really. But um, I've just had a good emotional chat with the players there. They're you know they're an amazing bunch of lads, um, young players. They're desperate to do well. Um, it's not my job to pick the next coach, but I hope somebody who who wants to work with young players and can develop footballers and make them better and um, and give them a chance to to keep growing as a club. But yeah, what a man. Five years in charge, done a brilliant job. He's took Rovers into a much better position than they were originally and got us out of League One for starters. And he's turned us into a solid championship team again, back where we belong. I think it's only a matter of time before we get back in those playoffs and into the Premier League. I really do. And yeah, without further ado, guys, that ends this vlog, ends this season. Uh, have a lovely summer and I'll see you all again very soon.